queen. I call this tale Death by Chocolate. Because there's a whole lot of chocolate in it and a little bit of death, too. <laughs> I thought spiders were supposed to know how to catch flies, Spindle Shanks. <laughs> Watch and learn. Watch and learn. At the Squarebush Sou'wester Chocolate Factory, new boy Pip Pipkin was greasing the Easter bunny moulds for the next batch of liquid chocolate when he heard a buzzing in his left ear. Unfortunately, he missed the chocolate fly and knocked the lever that opened the valve on the pipe that carried the chocolate from the blending vat to the moulds on the conveyor belt. But, of course, the moulds weren't there. While poor Pip Pipkin was trying to stem the tide of spurting chocolate, the cunning chocolate fly laid an egg in an unfilled bunny mould before flying out of the window as buzzlessly as it could. The bunny with the egg inside got given to a girl called Serena Slurp. A great big tub of a girl with mean little eyes. Serena was a chocoholic. She took her chocolate any way she could. Dark, white or milky, in a bar, on a stick or licked off the back of a stranger's hand. Chocolate milkshakes, chocolate biscuits, chocolate cake, chocolate soup, chocolate chicken, chocolate hot pot, chocolate dog drops and once by accident, chocolate ants which weren't quite dead yet. Blah! She had a younger sister called Ellie, a pretty little thing who never said boo to a goose. Serena made poor Ellie's life a misery. I'm going to tell Mummy what you just did. It was an accident. She's going to be so angry. Please don't. Then steal me a chocolate biscuit. But if Ellie was caught, Serena would pretend she knew nothing about it. Honestly, you should be ashamed of yourself, Ellie, stealing biscuits from the cupboard when you know Mummy doesn't approve. Serena was so mean that every year she would hoard her Easter bunny until Ellie's chocolate was all gone. Then she'd eat it very, very slowly in front of her sister until she'd made her cry. Every year, that is. But this year... It was the hottest summer since records began. England's chocolate supplies were melting and the heat attracted plagues of big black flies. The girl's mother came home with a large fly swat to do battle with them. Ellie, who adored the swishing and thwacking, wore it through her trouser belt like a samurai sword and spent her holiday happily hunting. Serena devoted her holiday to rescuing melted chocolate. She scoured skips and cinemas and backs of sofas for the sludgy stuff. She squashed it into the fridge next to her Easter bunny and wrote a warning on the door in magnetic letters. Hands off. Precious chocolate chilling out. Life was sweet until Ellie made a tragic blunder. How was she to know that the fly would have a dizzy spell just before she hit it? She tried to cover her tracks by laying out the fly swat on the coffee table. But Serena caught her at it. I'm going to tell Mummy what you just did. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs>
She's going to be so angry. Please don't. All right, Ellie, I won't. But only if you promise to be my slave. But I'm your sister. Not anymore, cackled the cold-hearted girl with a bunny in the fridge. <laughs> Ellie was miserable for the next week. Her slave girl duties included warming up the loo seat, changing TV channels and bringing bar after bar of chocolate from the fridge. And when Serena felt ill after a particularly heavy binge, Ellie even had to fetch a bucket for Serena to be sick in. You're disgusting, she said. Your eyes are bigger than your stomach. <coughs> said Serena. More chocolate. Then, two days before they went back to school, disaster! <coughs> Serena had eaten all her chocolate. Bring me my bunny now. And when it arrived, she stuffed the ears into her mouth and tore them off like a wild dog. That was when Ellie noticed the small white maggot in the bunny's chewed neck. Ah, Serena, stop. Look. Ugh. It's a wiggly thing. Shut up, slave. Can't you see what I'm eating? But there's a maggot in the bunny. You're just saying that. So I'll give you some. Well, forget it. And with that, Serena bit off more than she could chew. That was how the maggot got inside her. It feasted on the chocolate lake in her stomach and grew and grew and grew and grew until Serena had completely disappeared! When Ellie went into Serena's bedroom a week later, there was a chocolate fly sitting up in bed. Ellie screamed and ran away, but the fly chased her downstairs. Get away, or I shall squish you. Don't be frightened. I'm your sister. No, you're not. You're an evil fly monster. I'm Selena. Don't you recognise me? My eyes are bigger than my stomach, remember? All flies have big eyes wailed Ellie as she panicked and lashed out with the swat. What's going on? said Ellie's mother, appearing suddenly in the doorway. Ellie? I think I've just broken the fly swat, she said. Oh, said her mother. Is that all? I thought it was something serious. So, Spindleshanks, have you learned how to kill a fly? Let's give it a whirl, then. I'll pretend to be the fly. OK. <laughs> it's like taking milk from a baby. 